So Data Light has a system of reflectors called Lightstream, but it's not just reflectors that you're looking at. In order to Lightstream, you actually should start with a light head. And a light head now has a parallel beam intensifier accessory that goes on the front of it that is doing some amazing things. And what it does is it brings Lightstream reflectors completely to life in a very powerful way. So I just want to show you with this light, the little DL83 bicolor light, what a parallel beam intensifier does so that you can see how it reacts with light stream reflectors. Uh, I, I do it with this light because you should keep in mind that, that this is the smallest setup that we have. Uh, it's a little 40 watt focusing light and uh, it's pretty incredible um, what it does when you put its intensifier on. And also, all of the focusing light heads have an intensifier. So if you already have a dado light, there's an intensifier now that exists that you can start doing this type of lighting with. So this is the DPBA610 that we're gonna be using. This is what a parallel beam intensifier looks like for this small size light head. Um, but first let's turn on the light and uh, my favorite thing is just see that clean beam. All right, that is a dado light, it's singular. It floods out to about 60 plus degrees and narrows down to about six degrees, unlike anything else that's out there. No other systems do that. And uh, so fundamentally, uh, the light uh, has so much control out of the head, we can actually start manipulating the, the, um, the lenses in front of it. Um, let me just make sure this light is fully up. It is. Let's get a reading here and see where we're at in full spot from about 12 feet away. I've got about let's say 80 foot candles, all right? Something around there, 80 foot candles, all right? That's natively in full spot from the 40 watt head. And I'm at, I think I'm at around 5,600 here, okay? So I'm gonna drop in this parallel beam intensifier, the DPBA610, and it's going to look interesting. Ta-da, not much, looks strange. That's because the light is in full spot. An amazing thing occurs when you put it in full flood now. This just seems counterintuitive, but that's what we're going to do. Now you can see that we've warped that full flood back into a spot using that large lens. Let's see what we're getting. We were getting 83 foot candles to begin with, I, th I think, or 80 foot candles. I've got 690 foot candles now, okay? With a very controlled directional beam, almost 700 foot candles. That's an increase of nearly almost 600%, if I'm not wrong. I'm doing the math in my head, but that is an extremely powerful, magical thing. I don't, there's no other system in the world that, can, that you can put an accessory on the front and get five, 600% more light out of your source. So now that we have this tight, tight source, we're not going to use it directly because it's not that clean. You can actually put a, a honeycomb on the front of it to actually clean it up a little bit more. But for now, what we want to do is just show a simple reflector, all right? So I'm going to tilt it up here, and I'm going to hit a number three 50-centimeter reflector, which is pointing right back at me. And you can see how I've completely redefined what this light can do. I've doubled the distance by which the light is traveling, but now I'm spreading it at 50 degrees off of a number three light stream reflector. And the quality of light is completely different. So the foundation of light stream starts here, not at the reflector. It starts at the light and a parallel beam intensifier. Creating a very tight parallel beam to a reflector brings these reflectors to life. It completely changes how they can be used and it really adds another powerful tool in the arsenal of lighting gear that we have out there to get some very unique and specific and creative results.